What's up, YouTube? Um, just wanting to let you know that it's also a cost that's really this is a my bad. This is my first video of me going in for lap band surgery. Today's Thursday. Surgery is Tuesday. Um, I've been on an all liquid diet for the last. Today's day three now. Um, I am six foot one, 352 pounds. So, um, something's got to be done. I've done uh, the Atkins and I've done the Weight Watchers and I've done <coughs> a bunch of other things. Um, so, I'm continually losing weight. Um, the surgeon wanted me to lose 30 to 40 pounds before surgery. Um, and so far, I've lost like 32 pounds. So, um, I've been, I just started this liquid diet, like I said, three days ago. Um, and probably lost about two pounds in the last two days. Uh, I've been weighing myself daily. Uh, trying to find a even spot though is, is, is the thing you know one day it's like it shows 356 then the one next day it shows 352 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the best spot in the house um, and keep the scale there but I've been on a high protein um, diet for the last month and a half to two months um, with no carbs uh, or hardly any, just a lot of grilled chicken, uh, grilled fish, nothing really cooked in oil. If I want eggs, they're hard boiled. Um, uh, let's see. I don't know what else. Um, no pop, no breads. No white breads, at least. I've been doing the whole grain wheat, um, which is a lot better for you. I've been watching videos of surgeries, the, how it's done, and actually, and you know, I uh, I like to educate myself a little bit of how exactly it's done, um, so I know what to expect. And I thought I thought the scars were going to be on my sides. Uh, I thought they made small incisions on your sides. I was just watching a video from 08 uh, that she has four small uh, incisions right below her sternum. So that's a little bit shocking. I thought, you know, I was thinking differently. Oh, well, you know, it's like this is why I watched the video so I can educate myself. And I made a goof I'm holding the iPhone 4 making this video and I just realized that I'm holding it upright instead of side to side uh, where it shows the full picture so on my next video I will try and remember to hold it the right way um, this liquid diet is really rough um, a lot of protein shakes uh, vitamins they recommend the one a day gummies because of the fact that afterwards after surgery um, it's not going to be as easy to try and swallow a, a vitamin so they want to get me started my hardest thing I think is going to be with the surgery is the whole because I've done it my whole life and I know it's a bad habit is the don't drink while you eat, uh, not alcohol, like water or diet pop or I don't drink pop at all. I gave it up New Year's um, and I haven't had a soda since. So um, nobody said that this was an easy journey, which it isn't. Um, it's a very difficult journey, but I, I'm allowed to have such things as like chicken broth. Uh, low sodium of course low fat cottage cheese um, popsicles sugar free uh, sugar free jello um, no pudding I'm, I'm just struggling with the whole you know not being able to eat solid foods uh, it 
it's a it's a journey um, but the protein shake it, it fills you up temporarily and you're supposed to just drink liquids throughout the day whether it be Powerade Zero or um, water or coffee or uh, everything's no sugar um, they don't want you to have any carbs um, I googled it why um, and the reason they came up with was so your body gets used to eating the new way uh, which is understandable I thought it was more towards uh, so your stomach shrinks so the surgery is easier to do um, without the solid foods in there over the week or two weeks or however long that you're on it for see my I just started doing this in like January um, the whole seeing the doctor and everything and going through the information classes and seeing the psychologist and making sure I'm psychologically sound to have surgery uh, and they called me after I was cleared by psychology and they said can you have your surgery this Tuesday and I'm like um, you know it was a little bit unexpected I'm going to UIC uh, University of Illinois Chicago to have the surgery uh, taking a couple days off of work uh, I'm off on Tuesdays and Wednesdays my surgery is going to be a Tuesday so I'm taking off Thursday and Friday as well so I'm going to go back to work Saturday uh, they called me and they said, hey, can you come in, can you, can you have surgery this day? So Monday will probably be my next video. I go and I have a stress test and a chest x-ray um, and whatnot. And from there they clear me for surgery. So let's just hope everything passes and I'm not on this liquid diet for nothing. I'm 38 years old. I'm, like I said, I'm 6'1 over 350, just a tad over. Um, but, you know, I haven't weighed myself yet today. Uh, yesterday I was like, I want to say 351.6 or something like that. We bought a new uh, scale from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's uh, a really good scale. It was like 40 bucks. And it weighs up to 400 pounds. So, so I'm, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but... This liquid diet is really, really for the birds. Um, yeah, it's definitely no fun. So, if you're having surgery, this is what you got to look forward to. Some doctors, they allow like a small dinner. Apparently not my doctor. <laughs> so, this is my pre-surgery video number one vlog, if you may. Uh, I don't know. Alright, thanks for watching. I'm eight minutes in and I'm blabbering. Thanks.